So Darren, social media, social networks have grown incredibly in popularity over the last few years. People are struggling really to make sense of what to do on it and which, which networks to use, how to manage them. So what advice can you give people? I usually say, Ram, from a business perspective, the, probably the top two in my mind are one, LinkedIn, and two would be Twitter. Um, and a lot of other is LinkedIn is really the professional network where you know you connect with people, uh, your business relationships are there, and then you can actually look at what people are doing and find out where your connections lie into other people. Uh, Twitter itself, I think it's a great listening mechanism. You, you can actually have access to people where you previously wouldn't have access. So, for example, you know anybody who publishes a you know a message via Twitter as really just asking for you to interact with them, right? So they don't want an unsolicited email from you that means nothing, but if you interact with part of their conversation that they posted, you know, when you have something to say, it's kind of really works well that way. So you know, Hootsuite allows people to automate. I schedule tweets on, on Hootsuite. How can you interact with people, but also make the most of the automated options with, with social networks? And what do you have to be aware of with it? I think the big piece, there's a lot of noise, right? There's a lot of messages going out on social. So one of the key people, uh, things people do with Hootsuite is they actually filter the noise. So you can do keyword searches. So if there's a specific topic that you want to research or possibly even just an area, and, you know, if I want to find a particular message within a very confined geographical area, I can do that and filter the noise and then really just find the messages and the people that really make sense to interact with. So you're not just automating, you're actually actively using the site to, to find your way through the, the, the noise that's out there. Right, just, I mean, I would look at it and say, you know, on Twitter at least, think about a kitchen party when you're sitting there. Uh, you don't just walk into a room and just start talking about the things uh, that you're interested in. You really just kind of sit around the periphery, you listen to the conversations that are happening around you, and then at a point in time when there's a topic that you have either interest in or knowledge about, that's just your perfect time to jump into the conversation. So if somebody used Twitter that way, that's actually a, a perfect step in, right? Go listen to the conversation, then jump in when you have a chance. And, and you know, you've mentioned using LinkedIn, you've mentioned using Twitter. A lot of people are using Facebook for business now, increasingly so. How do you decide which social network to post on and for what? And what about people who are posting the same things across several social networking sites? Right, from a, I would say Facebook is, you know, very heavily marketing focused. There's a lot of campaigns. It's actually creating a community um, with foreign organizations. So I typically see that Facebook's more of an organizational me uh, yeah. mechanism and where Twitter and LinkedIn is probably more a personal brand perspective, right? So you have to approach them in different ways. Uh, really, yeah, you, you do. I mean, I look at LinkedIn as, you know, that's a very professional network. Right? You want to make sure that, you're, I mean, you're careful with it, but it's still, if you reach out to somebody un unsolicited, that's one type of interaction. Whereas I mentioned before, Twitter, people are posting pieces expecting to be interacted with. Right? So you can build, the, you just have to be careful of what, you know, what your personal brand is, right? So if you're on LinkedIn, you got to make sure that, you know, is there an adequate description of who you are as a person and what you do, what value you add back, right? Do you have a professional photograph of yourself, right? You really don't want the one of, you know, you in your sunglasses, you know, yeah. snowboarding because that portrays a certain image. So a lot of, 70% you know, of people can get information about you before they've ever spoken about you. So what is that image you want to portray before they actually do? Yeah, excellent. Thank you very much, Darren. No Thank you.